Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to day 17 of Danny's Designs Craftmas 2017. On today's video, I am going to share with you how to create this Carol of the Bells tall centerpiece. Stay tuned. For this project, you will need some fake snow. You will need two of these floral rings. You will also need an 11 inch styrofoam disc. You will need some greening pins, invisible thread. You will need some ornaments, any ornaments of your choice. You will also need a few strands of acrylic beads. You will need a tall cylindrical vase. This one is 20 inches tall. And you will need some flowers, any flowers of your choice. Of course, we will use our handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting. So the first thing we're going to do is place some snow into our vase and the amount of snow of course that you would like to use is entirely up to you but I'm placing about three to four inches of snow in the bottom of my vase. Now of course you can see how that snow has flared up and because of static cling it has sullied the rest of the vase and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a sheet of paper towel try to push down as much of that snow as possible or wipe it out and then I'll be back to tell you what our next step is now that we have cleaned up our vase it is now time to place our embellishment into our vase and so for this part I am going to be using some golden pine cones that I had left over from another project of course whatever you choose to use inside of your vase is entirely up to you but as you can see what I'm doing here is simply burying them in the snow and making sure that they are stable now once we have placed our embellishment into our vase it is now time to build up the foundation upon which we are going to be placing our flowers and so I am going to place my 11 inch styrofoam disc first and I'm going to do this using hot glue on the brim of that vase once I have placed that hot glue and found the position of that styrofoam I am going to apply some pressure and allow this to sit for a few seconds once that styrofoam has been set into place I am now going to place my two hollow discs on top and if you notice I have already glued those two together for the essence of time on this video but to place those on top of my foam I'm going to put one thin layer of hot glue down find my placement and similarly place those rings on top of my styrofoam disc and set it to dry for a few moments so now that the foundation for our floral arrangement has been established it is now time to place our acrylic garlands and to do this I am simply securing them to the foam with a greening pin and this particular strand of gems what I'm doing is taking the greening pin placing it under the neck of one of those gems so attaching it to the string and then pushing that greening pin up into the foam and that secures it very well now because my greening pins are long greening pins what you see I just did there was I took my wire cutters and I cut off the excess and now I am going to be placing one of my bells using a similar fashion but by taking that thread wrapping it around and around that greening pin and likewise securing it to that styrofoam by sticking it in again because my greening pins are long I'm going to take my wire cutters cut them off and then I'm going to continue to place my acrylic gems and my bells and I will be back 
So now that our acrylic gems and our bells have been attached to our foam, it is now time to create our floral arrangement. And to do this, what I'm going to do is place those poinsettias up into that styrofoam and under so that your guests will not be able to look up and see the styrofoam on your centerpiece. Now, I truly love the poinsettias that I'm using and I found at the Hobby Lobby. They are huge and so you, we will be able to create with these flowers a very large centerpiece without having to use too many flowers and so I am going to continue making my floral arrangement and then I'm going to clean our piece up I'm going to set the table and then I will be back to show you what our finished project looks like well, here you have it, my darlings, our Carol of the Bells tall centerpiece. Isn't it grand? Now, I would have to say that my favorite part of this craft would have to be the snow that is nestled at the bottom of this vase. And when you look at this centerpiece in its entirety, you can clearly see that there is a top, which is our beautiful floral arrangement. There is a middle, which of course would be the vase itself. And then there is the bottom which has been capped with our powdery white snow and our two golden pine cones and so this centerpiece is one cohesive unit that will be sure to wow your guests and so my darlings if you have found some value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below I would love to hear from you and I just want to take this time now my darlings to tell you thank you for tuning in to day 17 of Danny's Designs Craftsman's 2017 and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for day 18 and until then my loves please 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 take care of yourselves for me know that I love you all Bye now.